I was looking through some of my uh, old NLP notes recently and I came across this diagram which sums it up really well. So what happens is this is me or you and this is our behaviour and these here are the stimuli that are coming in at us and there's far too much coming in there for us to deal with. So what we do is we economise, <clears throat> basically we interpret it. The way we interpret it is in line with our beliefs and what are called meta programs, basically the shortcuts in the way we think about things. What also affects us in terms of how we'll behave, apart from how we interpret the information coming in here, our beliefs and meta programs, so things like limiting beliefs, for example, would limit us, <clears throat> but also our physiology. So if we've got a positive posture, uh, you know, and you breathe in deeply and you stand up tall and you're full of energy, you're more likely to behave in an energetic, positive way than the opposite. And also the state you're in. So the state, so that could be, are we cheerful and positive and optimistic? Or are we sort of depressed and um, miserable and pessimistic? So your state determines how you interpret the stimuli and how you behave. Your body language or physiology influences it. And so does the way your mind works or your beliefs and your meta programs. Now, the interesting thing is we can control all of these things. So we can control our beliefs and the way we think by speaking to ourselves in the right way and by overcoming limiting beliefs. We can control our body language, our physiology, and we can control the state we're in because we can choose to be positive and there's, you know, there's lots of things you can do to put yourself into the right energetic, energised, positive state. And actually, you can even control some of the stimuli coming in because, for instance, if you mix with positive people rather than negative people, then the stimuli coming in are going to be positive ones more than negative ones. So, for instance, if you're part of a mastermind group full of other positive people, that means that you're more likely to be getting positive stimuli from the other people. Now, all of those things then influence our behaviour coming out this way. So you can see that we can do lots to influence our behaviour in response to the stimuli coming in. And I think that's just a really good way of looking at things and realising that we can work on all of those areas to make sure that our behaviour is, you know, the positive sort of behaviour that we would really like it to be. So hope you found that interesting. Thanks very much for watching.